Hey, what's up? So, I wanted to talk about a couple key things with regards to social media that have been um, coming uh, across my desk in the past few weeks. Um, and the big one is just sort of how much are you supposed to debt? How much are you supposed to post a day? How much content should you be creating every day? And the answer is no one is creating enough content. Maybe Metallica, because they've got like two or three videos coming out a day and all this other stuff, although they're not really as hot on Instagram as they should be. Some of these pop artists are also kind of doing it, but like by and large, however much content you think you're creating is nowhere near enough. That being said, I recommend a minimum of at least a post a day just so that people see that you're active. And I get it, sometimes your band doesn't have a ton of stuff going on, but you want to at least show people that you're there, that you're around, that you're penetrating into feeds, you know, um, pages have actually been prioritized a little bit in feeds lately, which has kind of been a big thing. So, you know, so you need to have that awareness and you need to kind of be grinding that even though it's not always super, super self-evident. Um, you know, so just try to have one post today. I personally, ideally, I, I wish I was better at this. I'm trying to get up to three posts a day on Instagram. I've been there. It drove my following up really high. Um, and that's just a key way to do it. And the other key thing in terms of content creation, and this might throw you, but it's commenting, right? I comment a hundred times on Instagram per day. Literally, when I go to the bathroom, I go. Th I make ten Instagram comments on a relevant hashtag. I find ten relevant hashtags, do ten comments on the on most recent posts on all of them. And that dramatically boosts how many people know who I am and how many people follow me, right? Because even if it's something that's outside of kind of the rock genre, metal world where I operate, you still find rappers and stuff who see what I'm doing and who like what I'm doing. And if that grows my mailing list, if that gets more eyeballs towards me, then that's a net win uh, in my book, right? So if you grind in those two ways, you're going to get somewhere. Now, I also appreciate the concern where you're like, oh, well, we're going to get deprioritized if we're blocking each other off, right? So uh, we've talked about this before, like you've got like two big announcements on the same day. We've talked about this before that posting between 1 to 4 p.m. is kind of the ideal window. So what I try to do is I try to have like my morning piece of content, my afternoon piece of content that's going to be the big one that's going to perform well, and then I have my evening piece of content, right? And I think that's usually a good way to sort of balance it all out and get some eyeballs on you um, without fucking it up. That being said, if you have two big announcements like a tour and an album release or something, just slam them together and just go from there. I think that if you kind of push a combined set of content, that's just going to lead to a lot more meaning, a lot more growth over a long term, um, in my eyes, at least, whoa, sorry there, um, at least in how I've kind of come to terms with it, you know, is you want to have one big dick swinging announcement that everyone gets behind rather than um, multiple smaller ones, you know, just because if they're not penetrating, well, the big one at least will get high interaction and will start to drive um, a little bit further down the line. And then once you have that big piece of content, you can turn it into smaller pieces of content, maybe about individual tour dates, about individual tracks on the album, yada, yada, yada. And you just kind of grow from there. If you um, look up Gary Vee's content strategy, if you're trying to find a good way to kind of turn a single piece of content, like a tour or something, into 80 or 90, which is what I try to do with every piece of content I create. Anyway, just a few thoughts for you. Take care.